Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a digital marketing infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the first option. Then it will show you the all the social media icons. And it will come with the name also. And you can see there's a continuous animation there so let's see how to create this beautiful digital marketing infographic slide also you can say is a, a tree infographics also so let's see how to create this in powerpoint add a new slide go to view enable the guides right mouse click and change the format background i'm going to give some dark gray color as a background and then come to insert shapes select a line draw the line straight line by holding the shift key and shape outline you can give a gray color and weight you can make it four and a half points you can see you got this line then go to insert shapes and select this one with this arc draw the arc something like this and this also gives the same color and weight make the same weight and if you want you can increase or decrease the size while holding this orange point then come and rotate it left 90 degrees and attach it here and if you want to increase the size you can increase the size something like this and zoom in and make sure that this is perfectly align to this so once this is done select both these lines and press ctrl g to group it and go to insert shapes select a rectangle rounded corner rectangle make it fully curved and i'm going to give the same color which is this one make it no outline and you can give the width as 1 and height as 0.15 it comes something like this or I'll give 1.1 put it here press ctrl D to duplicate I'm going to add 3 or 4 lines like this so this looks reflects like a light bulb the base of a light bulb select all these four and go to format align left and align just say distribute vertically so it will give the equal spacing and if you want you can add one more shape which is a trapezoid draw the trapezoid give the same color make it no outline and rotate it flip vertical reduce the size a little bit and place it at the bottom now I'm going to make this five different lines so this is the first one press ctrl D to duplicate second one I am going to reduce the size and I am going to place it here then one more press ctrl D and rotate it flip horizontal bring this side reduce the size smaller size control D 
going to increase the size and put this side here little bit slow lesser and one more the other side so you can see this why the base is ready now almost then I'm going to add the points here if you want you can increase the size also or if you want you can just reduce it something like this also if you want to increase the size maybe this much so it's up to you how much the width and length you need and then I'm going to insert shapes select a oval shape draw the oval shape while holding the shift key and place it here this is the first one make it no outline and then press ctrl D this is the other side a little bit smaller and then I'm going to make it some more smaller maybe this much size make sure that this is properly the aligned and it's a perfect shape control D you can add four five up to the your requirement and then you can increase the size or decrease the size also I'm going to add one here one more I'm going to add here this size I want to increase a little bit so likewise you can come here and put it this is one this is two a little bit bigger control D and the last one here then once this is done I'm just going to add the lines here now you can add some good color combinations here first of all I'm just going to select a gradient fill uh, this is the last time I have used so it's coming the same one so I'm just going to change this color maybe I'm going to use some uh, orange you can see orange with a, a light purple also looks good and then I'm going to select this it will come the same but I'm just going to change the color now maybe I'll use some different color choose some good color combinations this also looks good and maybe I'll select pink with orange so likewise you can select any colors so I'm just going to use the painter format painter I'm just going to paint it so but you are free to use any choice of colors you want to fill it here the more color it looks more beautiful so one color I will select this so just copy use some different color patterns maybe I'll use some blue with this color so this also looks very good I will copy it here this one also so once you have done all these color changes it's time to add the the lines now for that go to insert shapes select a line select the line and then attach to the the next circle and give the same color which is this color 
all right press control d if it is not matching or if it is so you can just change this position and again control d from here to here and then change the position so to look perfect All right, so now I'm just going to add here. So likewise, you need to attach to all this circles. So I've added all the lines attaching to the circle and then I have changed the color also. Now it's time to add the icons. You can download the icons from the nonproject.com and I'm just going to place the icons here. So all the social media icons or other icons also you can download it. So this is a YouTube this is apple instagram maybe email or any other icons also which icon you can add it here now once we have done all these things it's time to do the animation before starting the animation we need to group the objects for this just zoom it a little bit so i'm just going to first group these two objects Control g to group it and then group this object this line and this one Control g i have to add the icons here you can add icons also there Control g to group it these three icons also group it group it and all those items i'm just going to group it make sure that this is center aligned properly group this also so group one by one All right, now we have done all the grouping. Now let's add the animation. Go to animations, enable the animation pane. The first, I'm just going to animate this line. For this, I'll say wipe. And then this one, I will add the animation, which is basic zoom. And this should happen after previous. Then the second one, wipe then the first is basic zoom again you have to make it all after previous or if you want you can make it uh, on click also then this one should come wipe then this also wipe this also wipe you have to change the direction this is from right this is also from right and this also from right so again select this three and make it after previous likewise you have to do all so then this one wipe effect then this will be the same which is the basic zoom and this also i'm going to make it after previous then this 
wipe then the first one will come which is basic zoom and then this will come wipe from right or I can select all these also and say wipe effect then you have to make sure that this is all after previous so if I play Alright, it will show something like this and this is the last one. I will just say wipe effect and then the last is basic zoom and this also I will just say after previous and if you want you can add the text here also like WhatsApp, email Twitter, Instagram, awesome. So let's see how it looks like in the slideshow. So when I click, it will show you the first option, then it will show you this, and then it will show you the last one. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.